<laughs> okay. <laughs> I um, didn't start us off. All right. So anyhow, folks had wanted us to do a Patreon, and so we decided to do that. I know it's funny because I kind of criticized Patreon early on, but I had reason to do so. I felt like a lot of people that were on it uh, and some of the people that are on it are not, you know. So I didn't really have any thought towards Patreon, positive or negative. Um, but a lot of uh, a lot of you guys have been asking uh, in how you can support us or if we're on Patreon, do we have merch, that, all that kinds of stuff. So we got our wheels into... Um, into gear and or our gears into motion whichever way and so we have a patreon uh set up it's in the very early stages but some of the thoughts that we have kind of going into it in um what to expect from our patreon so we're not necessarily looking for tiered membership or anything like that um really i think ours is going to be more goal based i guess um because part of what we hear um and feedback about our videos is the content is great that's mostly him um i give credit where it's due uh but the quality could be better and we know that and that's something that we've been wanting to improve um many of you know that we do our all of our shooting on our cell phones and mm -hmm. it's amazing that cell phones are the quality that they are but we certainly could step up the quality um also being able to thank you upgrade uh just some of our basic equipment that we use we have a we have a software program that we use to edit the videos but just being able to um purchase add-ons for that or upgrade our editing equipment all of that um so that's kind of the the goal behind our patreon is to help us increase uh the quality of our channel and our videos overall mm -hmm. so what you've already seen as she was talking is basically the equipment that we're looking at uh we wanted to get something that wasn't so cheap that it falls apart but also something that's so not so expensive that you can't afford it um and it's pretty much just your kind of introduction type video mm -hmm. uh camera but it will have everything with it that we would probably need uh, to do pretty good editing and actually, or not editing, but videos Shooting. and able to take it in many different places. So mm -hmm. a lot of times people will say, well, you do a lot of videos from home and that's <laughs> due to a lot of reasons, but mainly it's due to the fact that I don't have like the proper setup to actually go on location and actually shoot video. Uh, so this would actually help us with all of the stuff that's coming with this particular camera. Mm -hmm. It's going to help us get what we need to. Now on Patreon, it sets it up kind of weird. and It says that you would have to have uh, so much a month and then it reaches our goal. Uh, so that's not what we're doing because whatever we get is cool. What we're aiming for as a overall goal is enough to buy this first piece of equipment. Um, and so we will show you the link so that you can actually go there and see for yourself. Um, because one of the things that we said about our Patreon is that it's basically we're creating unfiltered and authentic content. And so we want to make sure, just like we, what we do with our YouTube, that we are pretty much very transparent and truthful. Mm -hmm. So we want you to go to see that link, see how much everything is, see that our goal is set at what it is for a reason. And that's what we're aiming it for, and that's why we're setting this up to actually provide for that. The other reason why we're doing that, too, before she gets started, <laughs> is uh, we want to be able to address certain critical issues that happen uh, that we're not able to really do so on YouTube without having a big issue with censorship. You'll be surprised of the videos that we have that are basically not getting monetized, meaning that we don't get anything from those videos uh, because maybe there's a word in there that the robots that they use catch and or they controversial flag topics or sometimes it's not even a controversial <laughs> right. topic. We did a gardening video and it got flagged and it was the one that about sunflower, sunflower seeds. seeds. Um, hopefully this doesn't get flagged, but <laughs> it was our one about sunflower seeds and it got flagged for um, it, questionable content. Right. <laughs> um, so just things like that. And there, there are some things um, that 
I mean, we certainly have thoughts about things that go on, current events and that kind of thing, but to be able to do a video on YouTube, you're gonna, they may be popular videos, but we're not gonna get, we're not gonna be able to see that monetization and get that support. Um, also, there are some things that we want to be able to offer to people who are our like tried and true supporters, our ride or die um, supporters. And so being able to, you guys have a feeling, you know us, um, at least from videos, some of you really know us, but um, being able to really talk about issues that are important to us, that impact us, impact our family, um, but maybe more controversial, but you will get to hear kind of our our, our attitudes, our thoughts about those, um, and just be able to kind of open up a platform to be able to discuss that as well. So, And one of the cool things about it, <clears throat> excuse me, is that some folks that have Patreon, they have several different tiers and um, you have to pay for each video and that type of thing. That's not really how we're going to operate it. Basically, if you pay a just a fee every month, you get whatever is actually there. Mm -hmm. So it's completely different. It's not where you're paying for each actual video. So there's going to be a lot of videos that will go into that that won't um, go on YouTube. That won't go on YouTube at all. So we may actually have little snippets where you can see a kind of a collage of what the video is kind of talking about. It's not going to go into detail because obviously we already know a lot of the things that YouTube is going to pretty much block or demonetize. Yeah. So this is one of the ways that we can pretty much get around that and actually convey to you what we really want to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, and we don't have to worry about being very careful with what we want to say. Yeah. Uh, and one of the videos that I have posted on there said that basically our YouTube channel is G-rated and our Patreon is going to be R-rated. But I said not really. It's going to be PG-13. Yeah. So we're able to really and truly say what we want to say and it not be... Uh, you know, basically demonetized. And again, most of the content that's going to be on there is not anything that's you haven't really heard. It's just that YouTube is very sensitive. And given that we're such a small channel, it takes forever for our videos to reach a high enough number for them to even pay attention to really correct mm. it. Well, and there's things like the, um, I'm not even going to use the word, so I'm going to do a, a talk around, but the recent athletic company that has taken on a certain person, a certain athlete as their spokesperson. Like I have things to say about that. I have things that I want to, I want to talk about, but if I talked about that in a YouTube video, um, it would get demonetized. Well, it's going to be now. Since no, it's that. not. Probably. No, it won't. Yeah. Um, but also, um, what we hope to do with our Patreon is any support that we get, um, would also go towards the, go towards our channel and go towards our content. So we may, we may reach our goal of getting a camera, but, um, we may be able to put funds and support that we get from you guys towards, um, being able to go out and do more content like on the road or going and say that. Sorry, there's a construction crew by a two-year-old going on. Um, but being able to fund some of those experiences um, and so we can take feedback and input on what you'd like to see and then we can use some of the support that we get. Um, also, the girls want to do videos and toy reviews and stuff, so being able to help support some of those videos if we do food challenges, um, all of that. So really... Any support that we get from Patreon is going to go back. You're going to see the results um, in our content. And we also will do, um, we will thank uh, patrons as well. Whenever you actually do, um, you know, support us on Patreon, you're going to get a shout out as well. Uh, and then videos that are actually paid for by our supporters, um, you will see that flash on the screen that basically this is supported by our supporters. So... For example, she mentioned the kids may do a video that talks about whatever toy review or whatever, uh, and you'll probably see supported by a Patreon. So you mm -hmm. can actually see what's actually going into this. So yeah. um, that's kind of our hope is to pretty much just create additional content and higher quality content based on the equipment that we're going to be able to use. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think overall it's going to be a pretty, pretty good deal. Again, we're not looking to be Rockefellers off of this, no. but what we're hoping to do is you know, just improve what we're actually doing mm -hmm. uh, overall. And it's still going to be us. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a bunch of puns. <laughs> Ooh. No. <laughs> well, 
I can create my own. Maybe I have. Maybe there's punny followers out there that really want my puns. There isn't. I could do a whole video on knock knock jokes. No. Let me know if you want that. No. <laughs> so anyhow, folks, this is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Until next time. Bye, guys. I will see you. Take, Take care. care.